we have just finished this message um, and send okay oh I am so so excited for you one of your first photo shoots here at the mansion how do you feel Oh no, don't be nervous. They are so, so much fun. And of course, this one is going to be extra special because it has a nice, really cute Easter theme. <gasps> Have you got it just there? Oh, that is such a lovely. really, really pretty. You're going to look amazing in that. Well, I am... Um, I'm sorry that the, the makeup artist was unwell. Yeah, Amy told me and I was like, you know what? This is your first shoot and I do have a little bit of a background in makeup. So, I figured, if you like, I could help get you ready. Yeah. Perfect. And then, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I also did do a little amateur course in photography. Mm-hmm. So, I thought, after we've done your makeup and got you already, we could have a little practice photo shoot. How does that sound? Yeah? Okay, I'm excited. Um, well, I've laid out some makeup and stuff here, so we can jump straight into things. Okay, or should I say, hop. <laughs> okay, um, so, let's see. So you've got gorgeous skin. It's all cleansed. Oh, perfect. I would always recommend to new playmates to just make sure you really cleanse your skin and take care of that. So you're already doing a great job. Okay, so let's begin then with your foundation. Okay, now I've got a couple of different ones here, but I think this one is probably going to be the best shade for you. Yeah, exactly. I know that um, we like to have a little bit of a bit of a tan going, um, but it's always good to protect the face, so I can always use a slightly darker foundation just to, uh, to match. So, let's apply this now. Now, do you prefer it to your skin in a, um, sorry, applying it with a sponge, or do you prefer a brush, or just using hands. Well, my hands are all lovely and clean. Okay, so um, they'll be perfect to apply to that lovely skin of yours. Okay, let's get some now then. There we go, we just need one well. Okay, and then I'm just gonna get it in between my fingers. Okay, and then I'm just literally gonna So, you're feeling a bit nervous then? Oh, don't be silly, you're gonna do amazing. Um, I've been here about three years now. Yeah, it's such a fun place to live. There's always really cool 
events and parties going on the girls are all so lovely we've got people from all different backgrounds here as well it used to be people just from kind of modelling background and things like that but we've really changed over the years so we've got a really diverse group of girls here which I think is amazing oh with Emma oh she is so lovely I'm so glad you got assigned her yeah oh no she is the sweetest she's also a great baker yeah she makes these amazing blueberry muffins oh, love I hope she's baking something for Easter actually I'd love to ask her okay that's looking good um, and we mustn't forget underneath the chin and just working down the neck a little bit because sometimes when you stop just there it doesn't look right we have to blend it in so let's just blend 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 oh perfect okay let me just wipe my hands a little bit nice cleansing cloth okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna because we need to look bright eyed and bushy tailed. Okay, so let's just move that a second. So I've got so much stuff here, so I was trying to keep organised, but it's not going so well. <laughs> so next up we have our concealer. And that's really going to help to just brighten those eyes. And I'm going to use this a little bit, not that you really need it, but a tiny bit just to contour. Okay. So, let's do that now. This is actually a brand new one. I always, if I'm ever doing like some of the girls' makeup just for fun, um, I always make sure that I clean the ends of these. Um, and things like my mascara and stuff as well. Apply it directly then, as it's all clean and new. So, just apply it underneath. There we go. That's perfect. Love it. Okay, I want to do a little bit. Little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit down your nose and just a tiny bit in between your brows as well. There we go. This goes quite a long way actually, but we'll do a little bit more. Okay, great. Now, I can also do a little bit on your chin just here and just above your lip. Actually, I might do a bit on your eyelid. Just a little bit, bit that. Just a little bit that. Okay. <laughs> just helps to brighten everything up. So we'll just let that set in. Just a little bit. I like to try and fan it dry. Just a tiny, tiny bit. There we go. Okay, and then we will pat it in. move on to those brows 
Although you have amazing natural brows, so I think we'll just enhance those a little bit. Okay, so let's start by just brush, 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 just like that. Perfect. And then just <laughs> that looks great. Do you know I always think so important to try and be confident without makeup but when we're feeling a little bit nervous and we know we have to kind of perform then I think it just gives you a little bit more confidence you'll be feeling better in no time okay so we've done your foundation your concealer and your eyebrows so now let's do those lashes now you have amazing natural lashes, I can see Oh no, I am no good at false lashes, I'm sorry Um, Stacy's quite good at lashes, she actually um Yeah, did a little bit of beauty Um, I'm just not great at them Can you, can you make do? I've got eyelash colours Yeah so let's start then. What I actually like to do is I like to do a little bit of a um, of a pre curl, then apply the mascara, then um, do another curl as well. So are you happy with me to do these on you? Okay. So just stay very very still. Okay. So I'll come up here and just there we go. Just give a little bit of pump Okay Alright Let's do this one Let's get the angle right Okay And just do a little bit of a There we go Okay Oh, they look nice and lit Ready for some mascara? Okay, so we have this one which I'm loving at the moment. So this is meant to be like a lash lift, but it's a mascara. So let's apply that. This is actually a new one, so one's nice and clean. I like to just do that a little bit and it distributes the um, mascara better Okay, so I'm just going to apply this There we go, just coating all those lashes all did a little bit Look at all the zigzag just across the bottom ones Oh, you look Honestly, looks so so nice. Okay, some people don't really see having their their bottom lashes with mascara, but I think you really do. Let's just do the bottom. Oh, zigzaggy, zigzaggy. Ah, oh, stunning, stunning. <laughs> okay. You're already looking so, so good, honestly, so good But, um, we should move on to things like kind of powders and stuff So, we need to do blusher, bronzer and some setting powder and a bit of highlight, okay um, 
so let's apply I think I actually quite like to do the setting powder just around the concealer and then put the bronzer on. That's just my like personal choice. So I've got this one and this is the invisible setting powder. Sorry, I just got my nails done and I'm loving that salon. It's so satisfying, isn't it? It's quite a cute colour, isn't it? Yeah. Heath always used to say that if you want to really fit in, you've always got to have some kind of pink on you. So whether it be pink lipstick or a nice pink blush or pink nails. Let's apply this. So I've got a little sponge for this. Now don't worry, it is um, a little bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Used, um, but this has actually been washed. It's just, it's kind of stained the, um, the sponge. So I'm um, going to put a little bit on here. underneath the eyes there we go and I'm gonna go around the nose because I don't know about you but sometimes I find my makeup comes off around that bit um, the top of the lip but not too much just the chin maybe a little bit in between the brows perfect and I'm just gonna leave that just for a little moment Right, let's select then your shade of bronzer. So, you've got a great tan going on. Yeah, let me look at you. Oh, so stunning, honestly. Oh, Mel, yeah, she is amazing at applying fake tan. If you ever want any help, she's no, it looks great. Um, so we'll go maybe for then um, quite a, quite a dark bronzer. Okay, great. I have the perfect one. So we'll go for this one, and this is going to be quite good because it means we can also just blend out that setting powder. Um, okay, I don't find you have to leave it as long as the loose powder. So let's get a brush. Always um, kind of cleaning my brushes because um, I just think they look really cute. Yeah, well that's the thing in this house as well. You have to be, you have to kind of be a bit careful with your stuff. Yeah, because obviously there's so many of us. <laughs> so we each, as you know, have a little allotted zone um, where we can keep all our personal stuff. But unfortunately, sometimes things do go missing, or you know, you just like get confused whose is whose. So that's why I like to always keep mine nice and clean because I am one of the cleanest bunnies. I am, and everybody knows this, so they know what's mine. <laughs> okay, so I've got the bronzer. So, this one's actually waterproof, which I love, because with some of the pool parties, you don't really want to be wearing, like, a full face of makeup, unless, like, there's a shoot involved, um, but this is waterproof, and it says, velvet soft texture for a naturally even bronzed look. Long lasting and dermatologically tested. Okay, let's try some of this on you. So, okay, 
So just give me like a nice big smile. Okay. Oh, that is such a lovely colour. Almost has like a natural kind of mood to it. It's gorgeous. Okay. They say you should always do bronzer. Where the sun would naturally hit your face. Do a little bit there, a little bit around the side there, a little bit there, a little bit there. Mm. Ah, it's really coming together. Everything looks great. Okay, so let's blend the powder in nicely actually. Just a little bit more, just there. Just blend that a little. Okay, fabulous. So let's move on to blusher then. So let's just move that out of the way. There we go. So we of course have our own blush. So this is in the shade First Blush, number 17. And you know what? I just, I just love using our own products because it's like you feel like you're really part of something. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I know it's a bit silly but um, <sighs> anyway <laughs> so this is Gorge and of course comes with own brush so let's apply this now okay smile for me babe So pretty, so pretty. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> I love it, honestly. So, so pretty. <sighs> right. Now, we need a little bit of a glow. Now, you'll learn this about. I just think anything can be fixed with a little bit of a glow. I do. If you want your day brightening up, pop a bit of a glow on. Why not? So, I actually quite like to put this on my shoulders. Like, I quite like just to put it on my shoulders like this. And just a little bit. Just here. Okay, so this is gorge, honestly. So, so pretty. Like, look at that. So pretty. So, I've got a nice little brush here. I'm just going to put it along your cheekbones. Okay. So, just a little bit along there. And a little bit along here. And then, I'm just going to do a bit on the top of the lip. And a little bit on the nose. Like, you got a little cute bunny nose. A little bit on the nose. Okay, now, I just thought, thinking of the style of your outfit, I'm thinking now actually you could benefit from a little bit of eyeshadow. Just for a little bit more added definition. Yeah, because I saw my palette there and I was like, maybe we should have done that, but it's fine. We're just going to be really careful not to get it on the rest of the face. We have here our nighttime palette, which I adore. I really, really love this. And it has so many pretty shades there. So, what shall we use? I always like to keep the little protector on it, just to keep all the colours nice and safe. Let's take that up for a second. Okay, so I'm actually thinking we've got a really nice kind of like pink here and it's a little bit sparkly um, and then we've also got like a slightly kind of um, 
warm tone, like a bit nudey, but I think together they're gonna look so good. So let me get my shadow brush. Okay, now because you have concealer on your eyelids, we don't need to primer. So let's just get a little bit of this. similar shade we can use the brush again and we'll go in with this shade okay. and we'll just sort of concentrate that on the outer edge this gives you a little bit more There we 
guy. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, okay. Right then. You follow me, alright? And um, we will go into the little studio. Okay, well I call it a studio. It's sort of a studio. Okay, and we'll go ahead and take some little practice pictures. Okay, great, let's go. <laughs> take you with me. Let's go. <sighs> okay, we are here. The darling. <laughs> so, let me um, get my um, camera. So, what I can do is I will talk you through some poses and then we'll take some practice pictures on my phone and then we'll do some on an actual camera camera okay so pose wise why don't you tell me what you were like thinking of doing yeah okay mm. yeah Okay, let me just adjust my ears. Okay, so what I'm thinking is you want to keep it really playful and cute. So it wants to be kind of like, you know, rather than like too serious. So try again, don't worry, don't worry. and smile more and it's always worth asking if it's going to be like a, a kind of a live photo so whether it's going to have movement in because then you can sort of like play with your hair you know if you've got like little objects sometimes if you're doing like a pool shoot you'll have like little floats to play with and stuff okay perfect right try that again Amazing. Oh, I'm so glad you joined the mansion, honestly. Oh, you're such a great addition. Okay, let me get my phone. Okay, so let's try a few pics. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, so we're just gonna do. Right. Yep. Okay, and then give me like something more like ooh, playful. Great. Okay, I'm gonna try one from like a little bit more of like an angle. Great. And then a little bit closer. Perfect. And then why don't we try one where you're kind of like turning away and then you like, flick back okay and amazing okay and then kind of think of um like i don't know your happiest thought or i like to think of my favorite dessert mm, something chocolatey yeah Think of that chocolate fondant. Amazing. Yes. So, so good. And of a bath. And one here. Okay. Let's have a little review of these snaps. Okay. Okay, that's cute. This is a cute one. So that one's, that one's fun. You don't like that one? Okay. I love this one. I love this one. It's really cute. Yeah. And they're kind, of, they're kind of similar. Yeah, your smile looks great in that one. You see that, like your body angle. So cute. 
cute. Okay, right, you are doing so well, so well. So, um, as you're a basically professional now, um, why don't we move on to the DSLR? Oh, the camera, yeah, it's just a big camera. Um, so let's move on to that. And we'll just turn it on, get it set up, just like a couple of options. Okay, so, okay, right, so same thing, okay, don't panic, you're gonna be great. So just imagine, imagine I'm like actually the photographer. And go. Great. Okay, remember, keep it playful. Remember where you are, you're keeping it fun. You're keeping it light. To zoom in a little bit there. Great. Oh, you're doing so well. I'm just gonna come back out. Great. Yep, I love it. You're gonna love these. Yep, I'm gonna do another one like that. Great. And I'm gonna just do, I want a couple of kind of more close at once just to show you the makeup. That's it. Give me a nice smile, babe. Yep. Amazing, perfect. One more. And just another one. <sighs> perfect. Oh, you are gonna love these. So let me show you now. Okay, so we start here. The more of the full body ones. Yeah, your legs look great in that one. Yeah. That's what I thought. I was like, I'm gonna love that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a lovely angle, that one. And that, let me zoom in on that. It's so good. Uh, and can you see, I think that's your best side. Yeah, so really work with that. It's always good to spend some time in front of the mirror and just work out your best angles and sides. So, that one, and then these are just some of the, um, the beauty shots that I took, so, do you like? Oh, I'm so pleased. Sometimes when someone else does your makeup, it can be a bit like, ah, I don't like it, but I'm really glad that you do. <laughs> yep, and then just that one. Oh, perfect. Well, you are almost ready to go on your photo shoot. There's just one thing that I think you need. Mm hmm Let's pop this down. Okay. Now, it is so important not only to feel your best, to look your best, but also to smell your best. So this is, as I'm sure you're aware, one of our perfumes and this one is just so fun, it's just a really lovely fragrance and it always gives me confidence before a photo shoot. So let's give you a little spray now. Okay, and then just kind of like, oh, oh, it's so good. Oh, I love it, honestly. So pretty. Okay, then, so, as you're fairly new here, is there anything else you want to ask me, babe, before you go on your photo shoot, or are you all good? You feel much better. 
Ooh, oh, come here. Oh, you're gonna be so good. I'm gonna be such a proud little bunny, honestly. Okay, well, you come and find me afterwards as soon as you have done the shoot, okay? Okay, perfect. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited, honestly. Yeah, the picture's gonna turn out so good. And it's such a beautiful day outside. Yeah, so the fact you're getting to shoot outside, oh, it's gonna be so fun. Yep, yep, I will. Um, I think I'm gonna head back to the little pool party. Yep, um, but you come and join the girls when you're done. Okay, I'm gonna head there now. Um, I'll let you just gather your thoughts. Um, and yeah, can't wait to see the pictures. Alright, baby. Good luck. I will see you later.